Hello, welcome to another video. If you are new here, my name is Bentley Copas. I am a photographer, filmmaker, all of that. So today is a different video. We are making coffee today, but we're also talking about a serious matter that we've got to talk about. About a platform known as Facebook and Instagram. So, I thought that while I'm talking about this matter, I thought I'd make some coffee. So that way, you get best of both worlds. You get some informative stuff, and you get some fun stuff as well. So, let's get started. So you may be wondering, what is this serious matter that I'm talking about? Well, if you haven't heard Good old Mark Zuckerberg, who owns Facebook, Instagram, or Meta, whatever it's called nowadays, he has said that to get a blue tick now, he wants to follow in Twitter's footsteps, to get a blue tick now, you have to pay a monthly fee. What's that? Why? Now, I hope it kind of fails in Twitter's footsteps and doesn't work out and they end up cancelling it. But this is all happening in Australia and New Zealand first. Us Australians are like the trial run of that. And I don't like that. And I'm about to tell you what. As a kid, we'd all want that blue tick. That blue tick that says, yes, you're verified on Instagram or Facebook or even YouTube, even though it's on a blue tick, but you get what I mean. But we were all as a kid, we were like, oh, imagine we got that blue check. Like once we become popular, like I say, you're an actor, celebrity, or you're a YouTuber, or a famous photographer, or a famous filmmaker, and you get that blue check, you're like, you kind of feel good about yourself. You're like, okay, well, now I'm verified now so like I'm a public figure and now they're using the fact that, that you have to pay that now I get their whole aspect of it that you have to pay for it and get you have to provide government documents and you get extra protection from say if someone tries to make a fake account that says it's you and you know you can able you be able to tell who's who but that blue tick What's, what's that? Like, why add the blue tick in there? Why can't you just have a monthly subscription on its own? You don't need that blue tick or anything. Like, before this thing becomes active, I think it is active, I'm, I don't know, I'm not keeping up with it, but before this, you had a request verification thing. So, you request to be verified by Instagram and then look at your account and be like, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how the process worked, but I remember seeing it there and I went, as much as I'd love to have the blue check, like be like, haha, you don't, I do, you know. As a young kid, I would have loved that. I would have done it and all that. But now that I'm starting out as a photographer and filmmaker and slowly building up my name, you know, one day I may become public figure. People may know who I am. At the moment, there's not much, but that's okay. But sometime down the future, they may. And I didn't want to get that verification, that blue check right now. So then it'd be, look, it's there. They go, why has he got a blue check? We don't know who he is. So I wanted to wait. And that's what I was doing. So then when the time came, I could go, all right, Cool, I've got the blue check now. I'm a public figure, it means I'm, people see me, people know who I am, and they know what I do. But now, if I did that now, people would say, oh, he's paying. It's like, it's like 15 to $20 a month to get a blue check and have extra protection. I don't wanna be known as that. That's, no, I don't want that. So now that they're introducing this pay thing, it makes me think, 
well, how am I supposed to be identified as a creator, as a YouTube creator, a film creator, a photographer, a public figure? I think at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that everyone who's got the tick now are public figures and they're obviously creators and have actually requested to be verified because they are professionals. But the people who are up and coming, what do they get? Do they have to just stay normal and no, and don't get verified? And who knows what it's going to be like for the rest of the world. Like this is only happening in Australia and New Zealand. So what's it going to be like for where all most of the creators are in the US and Europe and all over the all over the, no, not, not the country, the world. So I. I want to know what the hell is going to happen with that. What's going to happen with previous people? People who've already got the tick. Is it going to get taken away? Are they going to keep it? What? That's what they need to figure out. I, I want to figure out that. I want to know what's happening with the old guys and what's going to happen with the new people. I just don't think it's fair for creators and professionals and you know people who need Instagram or want Instagram as a portfolio or to express their work but at the end of the day these people are way above me have more money than me and there's nothing I can do about it so I guess it comes to the point of putting up with it and just see what happens in the end. But, you know, maybe if enough people see this video, they will see that it's just not gonna work, that there are creators who want to have a special place on social media and have their own platform to be verified, be well known, have that blue tick without having to pay for anything. So I think it's just something that needs to be talked about a lot and hopefully start something to change it. That is my little rant. It was just something that I seen on Twitter and TikTok and all that. I didn't like seeing it, I didn't like hearing about it. And I wanted to make this video to put my point across to say that there are people out there who are not liking this there may be a couple people maybe most people who actually like this subscription thing but me as a creator me as many creators don't like it and we want it changed so I just wanted to put that across this video might not be seen by a lot of people, but that is okay. Because as long as I know that I'm standing by this and that this blue tick monthly subscription fee for extra protection for blue tick is absolutely stupid. I'd rather just have a blue tick that I can get just by requesting verification and then getting approved and just having it there once I am well known, much more professional and a public figure. So, thank you all for watching. I'm not that political with things, but that's just one thing that's just kind of annoyed me. I promise that's the last thing you'll hear of political stuff. It's not political, but you know, it's social media type of stuff, but you know, there may be more social media stuff going on in the future, so you may see me pop up with more stuff, but this channel is mainly for photography, filmmaking, fun stuff, not sad stuff like this, but yeah, I've got to let, I've got to let stuff out somewhere, so cheers. I still make damn good copies.
Now I've got to clean up now. <laughs> you thought like, is he not going to clean up his mess? No, I am. I promise you, I am. Just... Bye. Mm.